بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وصلى الله على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم In the Islamic worldview, and this is also the worldview of many traditional cultures and religions, there is a connection between truth, virtue, justice, love, and beauty. And those who know that truth they must be overtaken by it. They must be overwhelmed by it. If that doesn't happen, then in fact they didn't perceive it. They may have caught a fragrance of it, but they didn't perceive it. Those who know the truth, they must accept the truth. And then they must practice the truth because there is no knowledge without practice. And there is no practice without knowledge. And this is not just a theoretical belief. This is a tangible reality that can be seen in the remnants of the great Islamic civilizations of the past, from China to Portugal and Morocco. These civilizations were extremely beautiful and they were in harmony with nature. They were in harmony with the human soul. They soothed the soul. They pulled the soul gently towards the truth which the beauty communicates. And of course, beauty takes many forms. And we cannot ever say that the Islamic civilizations were the only beautiful ones. The civilization, the Zen civilization of Japan, the civilization of China, of India, of Europe, medieval Europe, and many, many others, the, the First Nations of America. All of these people participate in beauty. One of the problems of modernity is that it cannot escape ugliness. And its cities generally are ugly. It may try to beautify them with parks and other beautiful projects, but nevertheless, they're always enclosed by an ugliness. The, city, the, 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 the ideas that underlie the architecture of the modern city are ideas that are foreign to truth. In fact, when modern architecture began in the 18th and 19th century, architects wanted to remove all the buildings that they said were haunted with the memory of God. But there is a, an ontological metaphysical relationship between truth, virtue, and beauty. And beauty is objective, and beauty communicates. Ugliness, on the other hand, is deprivation. Ugliness is to be deprived of the vision of truth, and therefore also of true virtue, and therefore also of the ability to make that which is truly beautiful. It is very difficult for people today to understand what Islam is. And this is because of the fact that the true Islam, the prophetic Islam, that Islam has been eclipsed in the wake of modernity, modernism, postmodernism, colonialism, neocolonialism, and the other uh, catastrophic changes of the modern period, especially for us, the Muslims, the last 200 years. So it's difficult for a non-Muslim to understand Islam, and you can't blame them for that, because what they see on the, the news of the things that so-called Muslims do are ugly to the nth degree, and they are betrayals of the prophetic message, and they are uh, violations of the truth that the Prophet, peace be upon him, and all the messengers and prophets left before him. And even if it is difficult for a non-Muslim today to understand Islam, you must understand that it is just as difficult for Muslims. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he said that wisdom is the lost camel of the believer 
Wherever he finds it, he takes it. It is our obligation to light a candle in the dark. And when you have total darkness, a little candle can be seen a long way away. So Rosales, with its beautiful uh, minaret, it is a candle shining in the dark. And we hope and pray that we can first of all teach Muslims how to be Muslims again and to get them into their hearts. If you want to see beauty, you have to remove from your heart the veil of ignorance, the veil of pride, the veil of arrogance, the veil of heedlessness, and the veil of false conceptions and passions out of control. And then you will see beauty all around you. And then you will understand what the prophets and the messengers brought us and then you will love God and love God's creation and you will love human beings and you will see how beautiful they are. Thank you so much.